What is up, my friends? It's Ray back here. And a few months ago, I set a goal to improve the audio in my videos. Audio isn't exactly the most exciting thing out there, but if you're a content creator like myself, it's one of the most important things that you can improve upon. Audio will literally make or break a video and the content that you create. Ultimately, it's a deciding factor as to whether a person sticks around and watches your entire video or clicks away from it. So the upgrade process led me to find some awesome new microphones that are built specifically for content creators. And I wanted to share them with you guys. I found the budget-friendly Samsung Q9X, which I'm using right now, the HyperX Procast, and the Logitech Blue Sona. These are three professional XLR microphones that are geared towards creators and are all easy to use, offer excellent sound quality, look great, and are surprisingly affordable. Well, some of them. Each of these come in at very different price points. This made me think since I reviewed all three of these mics and I have all three of these mics, I thought it would be a cool opportunity for me to share the ups and the downs of each, as well as help you guys pick the perfect microphone to take your content to the next level. It is important to note that the Samsung Q9X and the Logitech Blue Sona are both dynamic microphones, whereas the HyperX Procast is a condenser microphone. This alone should help narrow down which mic is right for you. If you're in a little bit of a louder environment or an echoey room, a dynamic microphone is going to do a better job focusing on your voice in comparison to everything else going on around you. On the other hand, a condenser microphone like the Procast has a wider frequency response and is more sensitive to ambient sound, so it's gonna be better in an environment where noise levels are low, like in a studio Studio space or recording booth. Now it's time for me to talk into each of these microphones and while I'm doing that I want you guys to let me know which one you think sounds best so let me know while you're listening down in the comments box below. Alrighty my friends so we're gonna kick things off with the Samsung Q9X. This is the microphone that you've been hearing throughout this entire video so far and as you guys have been hearing this thing sounds really 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 good. I think what you're gonna be surprised to know though is that this is the cheapest microphone out of the three. It comes in at a hundred and $29. It is literally a steal of a deal for what you're getting. I have this thing plugged in via XLR to my Zoom H4n Pro audio recorder and literally all I did was just raise the audio levels and just hit record. That's all I did. This thing is incredibly easy to use, sounds great, and looks really cool too as well. This is a great microphone for creators who are just starting out, who don't want to break the bank, who are on a budget. You know, if you want a cheap podcasting microphone, if you want a cheap alternative to the Shure SM7B, the Q9X is really a hard microphone to beat. So now we're going to switch on over to the Procast, which is behind me over here, and we're going to see how that one sounds. Okay, so here we are now with microphone number two. This is the HyperX Procast. And as I mentioned before, this is a different microphone than the other two. This is a condenser microphone. So you might be hearing that my voice sounds brighter. It sounds fuller. It sounds more vibrant. And that's because you are getting a wider frequency response out of this microphone. It's going to shine bright in an environment that's like a studio setting, a recording studio, you know, somewhere where there's low ambient noise. So it can focus more on your voice in comparison to everything else going on around you. If you're in an echoey room or a louder environment, this is not going to be the microphone for you. So if you have, like I said, a studio space or a recording studio, this thing is going to shine bright. It comes in at $249. It's more expensive than the Q9X. However, it is cheaper than the Logitech Blue Sona, which we're going to move on upstairs and talk into right now. All right, my friends. So here we are with the last and final microphone on this list. This is the Logitech Blue Sona. Now, this is also the most expensive microphone on this list, clocking in at $349. It's certainly not a cheap microphone. However, I will say that you get a lot of bang for your buck with this one because not only does it sound good, as you guys have been hearing, but it also looks good too. If you are a content creator or a streamer who uses their microphone on camera, if it's always in the frame, and this is going to be a microphone that just pops, right? Especially with this red windscreen that it includes in the box. It also comes with a black one too as well. They just pop right off and you can swap them out and change colors as you would like. It's super easy. I also do like that this microphone is super easy to use too as well. That's one of the benefits of these creator microphones, right? They're very easy to basically just plug into your mixer or plug into your Wave XLR like I'm doing right now and just start recording. It's really, really great stuff. This is a competitor, I would say, to the short S. SM7B. This is along the lines of that microphone, except you don't need a cloud lifter or anything like that. So at the end of the day, I really like the Logitech Blue Sona. I use it for voiceovers all the time in my videos. And now I want to know what you guys think. Which microphone of the three do you think sounds the best? Is it the Logitech Blue Sona here? Is it the Samsung Q9X? Or is it the HyperX Procast? I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments box down below. All right, my friends. So that was a test of the Samsung Q9X, the Hyper 
Super X Procast and the Logitech Blue Sona. As I mentioned at the start of this video, these are all microphones that are built for creators. They're all plug and play, they sound excellent, and they're all visually appealing, though I will give the Blue Sona the nod in terms of looks. Which one of these mics you get ultimately depends on what environment you plan to record in and how much you want to spend. For those creators just starting out and those on a budget, the Q9X is going to satisfy most of your needs. As you guys have been hearing throughout this video, this thing sounds awesome. If you want a little more and you're in a quiet environment, the Procast is going to shine brighter and deliver impressive sound quality. If you want the cream of the crop and arguably the most visually appealing microphone on the market today, you're going to want to shell out more and get the Blue Sona. At the end of the day, it is hard to go wrong with any of these microphones. It is such an exciting time to be a content creator, guys. There's so much gear out there nowadays that's accessible, it's budget friendly, it's easy to use, and most importantly, it's going to take your content to the next level and make the production process a little less of a hassle. So that's about all I got for this mic comparison, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, you know the drill by now. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow Average Trasis on Twitter and Instagram for much more. Until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Peace!